I failed our senior year here. If you fail one subject, you need to do it again after a semester. If you pass, you go to college. So I, I'm, yes, I'm stuck with one subject, which is math, for a whole semester. It sucks. Marhaba. My name is Inan Tayyam. Next semester, I'll be a third year student in university. So far, I've got 72 out of 70 in my 3D modeling course. I'm a straight A student. I'm one of the top students in my class. Most importantly, I failed Tawjihi. For the people who don't know, Tawjihi is the senior year in our Jordanian educational system. It has the stigma of being the year that controls your life. It's the year where a single F can change your entire life or delay it. When you fill an exam in Tawjihi, you'll have to wait half a year to repeat that exam. And if you pass that exam, then you'll get to apply to universities. And that's what happened to me. I failed twice, once each semester. And what happened back then, especially the first time, I wouldn't wish it upon any other human being. The disappointment, the tears, you feeling bad about yourself, freaking out. What will happen now? Will I be able to repeat the subject with the other subjects? What if I fail again? Am I good enough? I asked myself all these questions. It was math, and simply, if I pass math, I can easily sum up the two grades and pass with the overall grade that comes up from the summation. Right? Wrong. I failed again but this time with a grade that is worse than the one before it. And even though everyone was happy for me because I did amazing with the other subjects, I didn't. Because before failing any one of those people, I failed myself. I became a Tawjihi failure. Me. A failure. Or at least that's what I thought. See, I had to wait six months at least before I had to take my exam again. And in these six months, I learned one thing. You should never give up. A single failure should never stop you, your life, or your goals. A single failure might open up many doors for you. Doors that wouldn't have been opened if it wasn't for that failure. Things that in the future, you'll be thankful for. Just like this YouTube channel. See, no one lives a perfect life. No one goes on with their life with nothing but success. I realize that in order to achieve some of your goals, failure is a necessity. Only those who dare to fail greatly can ever achieve greatly. Failure should teach us, not scare us. Failure is nothing but a form of delay, a missed opportunity. The only way to totally avoid failure is to do one thing, nothing. Speak nothing, do nothing, and decide to be nothing. And I don't know about you, but I didn't think someone would truly want to live that way. The right choices are always difficult, and the roads you take to get to the best version of yourself are always the hardest. The best things in life will always break you before you achieve and reach them. All you have to do is just to keep trying. You're closer than you think. I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Thomas Edison. And we didn't learn to walk without falling. We didn't learn to speak instantly. What I'm saying is that failing should never make you give up, especially permanently. They say that in order for a phoenix to rise, it must first burn. Why not be that phoenix? And this doesn't only apply to failing, it applies to so many things. If you're going through a hard time, whether it's a breakup, a loss of a dear someone, a friendship ending, anything, you can get through it. It shouldn't destroy you. It should only make you stronger. I know that it sounds hard. I know that it's not easy. But I just want you to know that whatever you're living, someone else in this world is also living. And they're also praying for you. And they'll forever support you. If it's not in your world, it's in the entire world. You will find that someone. Don't give up. Everything passes, and this too shall pass. The reason I made this video is because a lot of videos out there are motivating Tawjihi students and not people who failed Tawjihi before, and I know that's a good cause. I know that they don't mean anything bad. Back then when I was in that state of repeating Tawjihi, I never saw a video that I can relate to. I mean, yes, I, I heard all of that motivational stuff. I'm not one of those people anymore. This is not only for Tawjihi students, it's also for anyone that's going through hard times. If you're going through something, no matter how hard it is, 
I want you to know that you can do it. You can pass. This too shall pass. Make me proud. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you reached this part of the video, you are awesome. I'm not going to ask you to leave a like or share this video because if this video helped one person, I'm happy. I'm the happiest person alive. Mission accomplished. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video. Be strong, be awesome, make me proud, smile, and be happy. Peace.